six feet, seven inches. Number 34, Imani Mickey Scatman. At the shooting guard position, six foot zero. Number 15, Alicia Gray. At power four, at six foot three inches. Number 25, Glory. Forward. Six feet one inches. Number six, Kayla Thornton. At point guard, five nine. Number four, Skyler Davis Smith. The head coach. To the Tonight, we'll see the New York Liberty as they go up against the Dallas Wings. Alongside Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga. Thanks for joining us. Well, we know the history between these teams. They see each other just twice a year. Tim, how loud is this arena going to be? Very loud. Just an awesome environment expected tonight in this arena. They've been talking about this one all week in the local papers and talk shows. It has the feel of a big postseason game. Yeah, and they don't face off much, so it has an extra special feel to it. And I just can't wait to see how it goes tonight. As always, you just want a close game. The putback, she hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Give her credit, she was in perfect position to grab that rebound and get the putback. Now Boyd. To the wing on the left. Here's Allen, covered by Thornton. Pass to Nurse, six to shoot. Shoots the three. The rebound by the wing. Left side, Diggins Smith. Now Johnson. Gray outside to the inside. McGee Stafford. The second effort, and the layup is good. That rebound and the follow, it shows you what she's all about. Gritty, determined, and a soft touch to Mac. Now here's Boyd. Pass to Charles. That shot missing. Alicia Gray with a defensive effort. Here's Diggin Smith. And she finishes nicely on the layup. Coaches love to see hustle, AKA what Diggin Smith is all about. And I love how she's just always infusing a winning attitude for her team. Now here's Boyd. Pass to Charles. Shoots over Johnson. And it's Charles missing. Well, I'm going to say the defense got pretty lucky right there because she's going to make a lot more of those than she misses when she gets that much room. Gray with it. Defended by Nurse. On the wing, Kayla Thornton. The three ball. Oh! It. Off to a strong start on the glass. Six points off second chance buckets. Yeah, you like their effort level here in the early going. And if you don't, oh well, because I like it. You know, they're just making things happen. Now here's Charles. Nurse outside. Pass to Zawi B. Fade away. And she makes that one. One of the advantages for Nurse, she's six feet, so tall for a point, allows her to get a clear view of the whole court. Diggin Smith with it. Boyd covering. On the wing, Alicia Gray. Thornton outside. Beyond the arc. Dallas gets it back. Stolen by Brittany Boyd. A one-on-one -on -one situation. Here's Allen. 
Good, and the assist goes to Brittany Boyd. Running effective pick and rolls is only a small part of what makes Boyd a premier point guard in this league. Now here's Diggins Smith. Gray defended by Nurse. The 10-footer. Yep, that goes. I like their hustle here early. Uh, they've struck first on the offensive glass. Those second chance buckets really contributing to their lead. Here's Boyd. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Nurse. It's rebounded by McGee Stafford. Such tough defense there against one of the better finishers in the game. Pass to Johnson. Back to Thornton. And here is Diggins Smith. She lobs up the alley oop pass. An absolute floor general. Vision and passing are the trademarks of Diggins Smith's game. The Liberty Trail. And one of the smarter players in the league, Diggins Smith, really knows what she's doing out there. Skyler's understanding of the game comes from her hours of tape study. Now here's Nurse. Gray defending. And a shot by Nurse. No good. The defense was ready for her. Got a hand in her face. And made that one much tougher. And that's something that every team needs. Rugged interior defense to just make your opponent think twice about coming down the lane. Now here's Gray. Up again. It's good on the footback. Boy, Brian, already they've piled up eight second chance points. Oh, it's incredible seeing the effort level and the intensity they're bringing here. They're just beasting on the boards. I love their physicality. Allen, covered by Thornton. Pass to Charles. Six on the shot clock. Johnson with the steal. Gray, left side. Shot's good by Johnson. Time out, time out. Guys, Diggins Smith's high basketball IQ can be seen in a wide range of moves. Definitely. A knowledgeable guard, Skyler has a knack for countering defensive adjustments. And with good awareness, she reads defenses well and excels in the pick and roll. And you talk to her coaches, and they'll all tell you that they can trust her to run the offense. Really, they're not pleased at all with the looks they've given up inside, and they want to talk to the team about tightening things up defensively. Well, that's what's got to happen, and I'm sure the coaches will let them know about it. I mean, they're playing some soft interior defense, and that's a recipe for disaster. down becoming more important. Yeah, they need to string together some successful offensive possessions and play tough deep. Right with it. Stevens covering. From about 19 feet. Hartley's shot is off. That is such a low percentage shot. She's got to remember that she has four teammates out there with her. She doesn't need to do it all by herself. Now here is Stevens. And stolen by Durr. Pass to Gray. Now here's Zoe B. Tipped away. And that's a foul called on Jefferson. That's her first foul. Outside. Right outside. Clock at six. Let's the three fly. 
laces one from three. Yeah, you might not think of her as a true ace from three-point range, but the shot was there for her. Gordon outside. Pass to Harrison. Inside, Jefferson. A beautiful reverse layup. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. Now here's Hartley. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Out of bounds. Liberty ball as New York keeps possession. And so it's New York with it. Down by 12. They haven't really looked to attack the paint that much. Everything's coming from outside. And if you're on defense, that's exactly what you want, right? Keep them shooting over the top. Asian at the line for two. Two shot. The first free throw is good. And Skylar Diggins Smith, uh, such a huge part of this team. She's a fantastic playmaker who goes right at the defense, and I like to call her the catalyst for her team. He hits both from the strike. With Diggins Smith, she is just relentless when on the floor. The way she can push the tempo, can shape this team's offense, creates so many good looks for herself and others. Also, quite simply, one of the most entertaining players to watch in the league. Now here is Thornton. He's got five. Shoots the three. Buries it from outside. Defensively, they have got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high of field goal percentage. Yeah, still early, but you're right. They need to bump up the intensity on defense. Here's Durr. Stevens. New York, no good that time either. Yo, 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 watch this, watch this. Up top, Jefferson, guarded by Durr. Kept alive. It's good, and she makes her third shot of the game. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. I mean, there's more holes in their defense than in a block of Swiss cheese. Yeah, just made me hungry. But, but that's right. Five of the last six makes are in tight. They've established themselves inside. The idea of setting a screen on that play, it was the, the, the good idea, the right idea, but the execution was not. Yeah, you really want to set a hard screen, but you also want to make sure it's a legal one. Now here's Jefferson. Here's Hill. Excellent D there from Asia Durr. Well, they call them layups for a reason. It's uh, not easy to miss that close to the rim. Right outside. Back to Hartley. Fast as how we be. Right. Let's it go from 11. Stevens grabs the board. Harrison gets the bucket. They've come into this game with a very aggressive approach. Pounding the ball inside, and it's working. Yeah, it sure is working, Tim. And they're finding the open lanes to the hoop and just owning this game early on. What a start. And there's the three-second call. This one going to be on the defense. Focus there, nails the technical. Well, free throws are definitely not a weakness in Durr's game. Durr is just a player that doesn't want any holes in her game. Here's Hartley. Looking for her first basket still in this one. 
pass to Gray. And there's the whistle. Foul part on the shot, and we'll go to the line. That one's on Stevens. Well, it's always good to take advantage of over-eager defenders. Now, Gray is smart and keeps the opponents on their toes. And she's got her first free throws of the night right here. No good on the free throw. A second round pick in the 2015 WNBA draft. Gray might have entered the league with a chip on her shoulder for not getting selected earlier. Can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Thornton with it. Eight points for her. And that's going to be over and back. Wasn't watching for the line that time. Here's Durr. Target at the rim. And an overpowering first quarter effort. Already a double digit advantage. It's the Wings up by 16. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. Wow. And welcome back. It's been all one way traffic through the first as the second quarter gets underway. And uh, the wings have been really rolling along here, haven't they? It's simple. Not much has gone wrong for them offensively. Very few bumps in the road as uh, it's been an easy ride for them. And the Liberty with possession here. It's a 16-point game. Right. Right side, Jefferson with the steal. And right now, injuries taking effect for some teams. But it's hard to pay your stars and maintain a deep bench all under the salary cap. Yeah, having rookies on smaller deals always helps out because getting on draft picks is never easy. But if you can, you have a huge leg up on the rest of the league. And a coaching staff that is creative helps as well. If you lose a star, figure out ways to get others involved. The other thing, too, the underrated part, the locker room staying together is important. Positive attitude can go a long way. Here's Hill. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Outside. Fast as how we be. Durr. Again, the Liberty good for two. Such a fluid jumper that Durr is equipped with. Opponents fear her ability to hit from the perimeter. Now Thornton. Stevens. Four on the shot clock. Here's Jefferson. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Hartley, good. You just knew she was going to win that race. Boy, gotta love that early offense. Super job on the break. Stevens with it. Gray picks her up. Now here is Thornton. She's got eight. Great. A shot by Thornton, no good. That's a shot she's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range.
first one falls for. Both teams deciding to change it up. So she goes one for two at the line. Well, guys, we know players develop at their own pace, but some are faster than others, like Glory Johnson. Advanced for her age, she blossomed uh, earlier than many, and that's what led her to becoming an all-star in just her second season. Now here's Gray, five on the clock. Three-pointer. The Wings with another miss. On offense, here's the Liberty. They've only given up two points this quarter. Well, one part of Johnson's game that's always stood out to me is her rebounding. Yeah, she brings an old school tenacity to the boards, and I love her willingness to battle with just about anyone on the hardwood. And really, it's tough to outwork Johnson when she's locked in. The Liberty making a switch here. Outside, Diggin Smith. Shot clock at six. To stop the drought. That shot off the mark. So New York will take it the other way. To the middle, Charles. Terrific assist and a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. It's not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. Just too many looks from in close. You know, usually when teams give up runs like this, it's because they allow chances from inside. Make them beat you from deep. The Liberty Trail. Nurse outside. Rebound Dallas. 17 points was their biggest margin. Up top, Diggin Smith. Boyd covering. Another shot. And they're going to count the bucket and send her to the line. It could be a three-point play. looking to make plays for others. Here's Nurse. And it's in. You know, they dug themselves in a hole in the first quarter, but they're starting to shoot it much better now. You know, sometimes it takes a little while to work out the kinks, and they're starting to put it together like a puzzle right now. Now here's Gray. Pass to Johnson. The shot, no good. And New York will come the other way. And you talk about a great teammate. Does it get any better than Diggin Smith? Well, her teammates certainly have a lot of trust in her. They know she's looking to make the right play. Some might say she's the heartbeat of the team. Jefferson with it. Boyd covering. Johnson outside. And here is Diggin Smith. with the block. You know, it's not been the best quarter for her as far as uh, scoring. We'll see if she can get back on track. Pass to Allen. Charles. Left side, Boyd. A rebound by the wing. That's one she knows she should have drained. From deep, Skyler to Smith. And it's Nurse with the rebound. If only she can improve on what's been a shaky day for her, they could really stretch this lead out, don't you think? Pass to Allen. Now we be. She's covered by Jefferson. Over to the left wing. Left side. 
outside, Boyd. Recovered. Here's Nurse. Gets the three to fall. Unfazed by that scoreless first quarter, and she's heating up. To the paint. And McGee Stafford gets it to go. She is one of the best when it comes to making the sweet lead pass. And the Liberty with possession here. They trail by seven. Nurse outside. It's rebounded by McGee Stafford. Well, you love the tough D, especially inside. And that's exactly what she gives you, Jim. Constantly making her presence felt around the rim. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. And the Liberty call time here. The team hasn't been boxing out well on the defensive glass, and they're just giving up a ton of second chance points. Diggin Smith with a defensive effort. And credit their advantage on the boards for the lead they presently enjoy. That's been a huge factor. Absolutely. A plus 10 advantage in rebounds. They're controlling the glass. And controlling the game. And that one drops for her. Nice pass. She got that ball right into her teammate's shooting pocket, and it yielded great results. Pass to McGee Stafford. Johnson outside. Jefferson. Here's Gray. Can't hit it from 12 feet. That he should be thanking her for that miss. Outside Boyd. Nurse outside. Six to shoot. Can't get the three to fall. She hasn't had much success shooting the ball. Dallas in the lead. Out to the left wing. And here's Jefferson. Outside, Diggins Smith. Gray. And it's Alicia Gray again missing. She has been anything but her usual self this quarter. It's been ugly. Uh, Southside. The three is up. Allen's shot is off. So it's Dallas now. 17 points was their biggest margin. Pass to Diggins Smith. Back to Jefferson. Puts it up from 12. And McGee Stafford gets it to go. They hold a huge advantage on the boards. Yeah, they've really dominated the glass, and that's been the key to this lead. Outside Boyd. Watcher, watcher. And it's blocked by Glory Johnson. Never short on tenacity. Johnson plays with such passion. Shows defensively. Offensively, she's really struggling this quarter. And so she earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and she'll shoot two. Out 
at the line for two. Shoot two. And the first one at the line is good. So both teams making some changes here. No good on the second free throw. Hartley outside. Down low. Here's Charles. Isabel Harrison with some nice D. From deep. Ah, uh, no good on the last second attempt there. And so we wrap up the first half. It's the Wings. They're up by 10. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. about to get underway here. On offense, here the Liberty. It's a 10-point game. Pass to Allen. Now Charles. Here's Nurse. The offensive rebound. Charles. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. Well, she's top 10 all time in O boards. Charles has been doing it for years, turning misses into makes. Here's McGee Stafford. Outside, Diggin Smith. She can't get that one to fall. Amanda Zowie B with the defensive effort. You know, Tina Charles has had lots of great years in the league, but 2012 was arguably her finest. Charles averaged double-double, garnering MVP honors for Connecticut. Now here's Charles. Just five to shoot. Here's Nurse. Off target from three-point range. Her offense stuffing a bit in the second half. Just one for five. Yeah, for Charles in 2012, winning MVP in just her third year in the league. And guys, she carried Connecticut, leading the team in points, rebounds, and blocks. And she helped the Sun finish 25 and 9, owning the best record in the East. The Liberty Trail. And they could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Yeah, too many empty possessions. I mean, it's simple. They need points. The defenders didn't really even get a sniff of her on that move to the iron. Now here's Diggin Smith. She has five. Oh, 
doesn't go for her. And New York will come the other way. They start the second half with three straight misses. Outside Charles. Just outside. Poked away. Fast as Zowie B. Beats over Diggins Smith. Zowie B shot is off. Hard work on the glass once again, guys. They've put a lot of effort into their rebounding. And that interior play, it's made a big difference in this game. Here's Gray. And she uses the glass on the layup. They get one to drop. One of four here in the third. Nurse outside. Pass to Allen. Charles. Outside Boyd. Just four to shoot. Charles guarded by Diggins Smith. Two points. That one goes in. Another bucket in the paint. That's just something they have not been able to stop today. And if they want to win this game, they got to figure out how to stop it. You know, Brian, I think it's time to switch things up on G. What they've got going on right now is not getting it done. Brings so much intensity to the court. Diggins Smith energizes her entire team with plays like that. Back to Boyd. Nurse outside. 4-3. The rebound by the wing. One made three for her in this game. Does she focus closer in? We'll see. Pass to Gray. Johnson with it. Defended by Nurse. Thornton with it. Uh. Now Boyd. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. It doesn't go for her. The wings go the other way with it. The shot by Thornton, no good. outside pass to Boyd Charles inside back to nurse and again it's the Liberty missing something has gone wrong with her this quarter she's gonna have to get it together Higgins Smith with it McGee Stafford, covered by Zowie B. Thornton up top. Eight points for her. Outside for Diggins Smith. Second chance shot. A shot by Thornton, no good. That's too good a look to pass up there, despite the result. And the shot goes in. Well, after she had a tough first half, it's been a different story since the break. And the wings call time here. Coach thought the players were looking a little tired and called the timeout to give them a chance to catch their breath. One. Hill can't hit. Here's Durr. Five points in the game. 
Pass to right. Gray outside. Now here's Hartley. Here's Charles. That's in for her fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip. Five for 10. And here's Harrison. Here's Thornton. And she banks in the layup. She might be undersized as a 6-1 forward, but Thornton makes up for it with touch. Finds ways to score down low. Pass to Gray. Durr. Now Charles. She's guarded by Stevens. Five to shoot. Here's Hartley. And too long on the shot. Good job by them on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. You have to rebound to win, and that's exactly what we're seeing tonight. They worked it in nicely right there. Pass to Gray. Outside dirt. Now Charles. Here's Hill to the paint. Stevens uses the glass to finish the layup. That's a great example of Stevens' comfortability and focus around the basket. So effective down there. Now here's Wright. Pass to Hartley. Here's Charles. Outside Durr. Six on the shot clock. Shot off. Azare Stevens with some nice D. Jefferson outside. Here's Hill. She's guarded by Hartley. Pass to Thornton. Harrison. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. Well, you allow someone to get to the rim like that, and really that's your only option. Yeah, free throws are always better than a layup. I would agree with that. And first trip to the free throw line for her in this one. The first one falls. And good on both. Hartley with it. Right outside. Pass to Charles. Outside dirt. Four on the clock. Over Stevens. Shot is off. They've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding numbers, too. Yeah, it's been a gritty performance and a physical brand of basketball, but hey, that's how you win. Bring your lunch pail. Hill with the rebound. Yeah, I don't know if she needs a rest this quarter or what, but she needs something. Jefferson with it. Gray picks her up, and that'll be Dallas' ball as it goes out of bounds. Wings able to keep the ball here. So it's Dallas now. 17 points was their biggest margin. Pass to Harrison. Clock at six. Now Thornton. Three pointer. And Durr pulls it in. The defense better watch out because she can make those three balls as we saw in the first half. To the middle. Here's Gray. Rejected by Azaray Stevens. Fast break, here they come. Thornton's shot is good. From out of the league in 2016 to having a night like tonight. 
you can't help but root for Kayla Thornton. A great example of never giving up, and tonight she's lighting it up. Now here's Hartley. Pass to Charles. Trying to get back on track, and she takes it up and lays it in. Her scoring this quarter has been off the charts, doing all she can to bring them back. Shot clock and game clock, one second differential. Now here is Thornton. 12 points for her. Right wing. Here's Jefferson. And off target on the 15 footer. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Wings out in front, up by 12. And time to step away quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And while we have the chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Slice the D wide open with this feed. Uh, they really had no chance to prevent this basket. Yeah, it was a great read of the defensive setup and also wonderful anticipation of the movement of her teammates before the pass. And we're getting underway in the fourth quarter. That scoreboard tells the story in this matchup, but we'll see how much things can change. Here's Hill. On the wing, Kayla Thornton. Goes up with the stripe. The shot off that time. So New York will take it the other way. Nurse outside. Softly drops in the floater. What fantastic touch from Nurse. It's a huge ace up her sleeve. The ability to put it in the hoop from inside. Thornton outside. The rebound by the Liberty. In transition, here come the Liberty. Gray with it. Now guarded by Jefferson. Nurse outside. Stolen by Kayla Thornton. And now the wings fast break. Here's Hill. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Well, she didn't have a hand in her face, so I thought she was for sure going to bury that. The lead now cut to single digits. I really like their activity in the post today. Their movement down low has just been great. Exactly. They've generated easy opportunities inside. Time calls here. The wings decide to talk it over. Looks like the coach saw some things out there that need adjusting. And it's going to take a little time to talk it over. Yeah, and never a bad idea to use a timeout if there's something that's got you concerned. Dallas leading. Johnson outside. Pass to Gray. Harrison. And here's Thornton. And stolen by Nurse. And here's Zowie B. Gray defending. Zowie B gets the bucket. Point guard is the most difficult position to come into the WNBA at. And you give Nurse credit because she looks like a vet already. Now here's Diggins Smith. Amanda Zowie B with the block. A nice shot by Boyce. And they have gotten themselves 
back into this game just in the nick of time. If that run had come any later, it would have been too late. Still some work left to do, though. They can't relax yet. Here's Harrison. Diggins Smith, Boyd covering. With great balance and body control, Diggins Smith isn't easy to defend. She really makes defenders work on that end of the floor. Skyler Diggins Smith at the line for two. And the first one drops. Yeah, born and raised in South Bend, Indiana. It was cool to see Diggins Smith stay in state to play collegiate basketball. Both shots good from the strike. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it. Now Boyd. Pass to Charles. Johnson pulls it in. So it's Dallas now. 17 points was their biggest margin. Outside, Diggin Smith. Gray. Back to Diggins Smith. Just five on the clock. Amanda Zawi B with the block. To the right side. Outside Boyd. The shot comes out. So Dallas will take it the other way. She's gone cold, and I'm not sure she's their best option offensively as they look to cut this deficit. Poked away. And that'll be Dallas's ball as it goes out of bounds. Wings able to keep the ball here. On defense, New York. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Connects on the foul line jumper. Effectively scans the defense. Diggins Smith puts her high basketball IQ to good use. And the Liberty call time here. Yeah, the coaches seeing a lot of their shots miss the mark and figured it'd be a good time to draw something up, maybe get an easy look. Yeah, all my coaches always had one go-to play that back pocket and that's probably the one that the coach is drawing up here trying to get their team an easy bucket out of this break. with possession here. Trailing here by eight. Last is how we be. Now here's Boyd. Six to shoot. Now here's Charles. Johnson defending. And it's Charles missing. Well, controlling the boards, they're plus five in that category. Yeah, and look, rebounding, it's not a glamour stat, but you look at the scoreboard and you see the results. She hasn't really done much on the offensive end, but she has worked within the team to help them get the lead. Megan Smith's shot is off. She's a very strong finisher, guys. I'm surprised that she wasn't able to power that through the defense. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so... 
are coming into the WNBA with incredible experience at the point guard position. Kia Nurse was one of the stars for Team Canada in the 2016 games. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And she makes the first. She makes both from the line. So it's Dallas now. 17 points was their biggest margin. Pass to Thornton. Johnson with it. Up top, Diggin Smith. Shot clock at five. Here's Gray. They get it back. Johnson. And that's good. A nice drop on the glass, and they pick up the two on the second effort. The Liberty Trail. Outside Boyd. Allen. Pass to Charles. Nurse outside. Back to Charles. Over Gray. The rebound by the wings. Knocked away. Dive for it. And that'll be Dallas's ball as it goes out of bounds. Wings able to keep the ball here. To the inside. Shot's good by Johnson. That's really her bread and butter, getting points inside. Johnson has tremendous ability to finish the play. Outside Boyd. To the paint. Here's how be. The shot's good on the assist by Tina Charles. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. Now here's Gray. Count that one. Here's Boyd. Nurse outside. Baked in off the glass. Dallas with the ball. They're leading by eight. Pass to McGee Stafford. Stolen by Tina Charles. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Alicia Gray. Diggin Smith with it. Covered by Zowie B. On offense, here the Liberty. And here is Boyd. And Charles is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for her. Diggin Smith with it. Pass to Gray. Here's McGee Stafford. Gray. And that one's good. With the wide array of offensive moves, Gray will pretty much make you pick your poison when you're guarding her. To the middle. Here's Charles. Good. And the assist goes to Brittany Boyd. Well, she, for one, hasn't let them down. But a few of her teammates need to pick up the pace and pick it up fast. Now here's Diggin Smith. to Thornton. Off target from downtown. 
switching baskets must have really thrown her off because she can't get anything to fall this half. A nice shot by Boyd. Dallas in the lead. Johnson outside. Here's McGee Stafford. And it's Skylar Diggins Smith penetrating. Some solid defense from Brittany Boyd. Down low, that's how we be. It's in, and she's a very efficient five for six on the game. Give credit where credit's due. Terrific assist inside. Now here's Diggins Smith. Tries to break her ice, and she lays it up and in. That's what elite playmakers like Diggins Smith do. You know, she's an evolving player that's dependable when you need her. Pass to Charles. Again, the Liberty, good for two. Big time from Charles. Remember, she's a national champ, gold medalist. She loves these moments. She's been in these moments. Now here's Diggins Smith. And here is Gray. And the layup's good. Oh, oh, the yeah, whether by design or by accident, that was a very high quality shot they created. I'm out called the Liberty. Sure. I mean, who else are you gonna give it to? The Buckets have been a factor key for her shots all night. Regardless of where she's shooting from or what's standing in front of her. Here's Boyd. Pass to Charles. Shoots over Johnson. Charles no good. And so they choose to intentionally foul. And a chance here to possibly put it out of reach. Lock in, maintain focus. They need to score quickly. No time to waste. Nice D from Glory Johnson. It's good! And now they trail by just four. That's why you look for Charles. She's played in so many big games. The big moment, it does not affect her at all. One shot. What a year she had back in 2012. Charles was the WNBA MVP, going for 18 and 10. But also defensively, she was second in the league in block, showing her dominance on both sides. A smart foul there to try to extend the game. Yeah, this isn't over, but the clock's as much of a problem for them as the score is right now. They need some missed free throws. Gets the first, and that gives them a four point cushion. And so she drops them both, and it's a five point game. Outstanding work at the foul line to make this a two possession game. Timeout called the Liberty. Your thoughts, guys? With Bucky and Foul, it's really the only option they have this point. And the important thing, Tim, is who they foul. They don't want to send an ace to the line if they can avoid it. Exactly, Brian. Find the worst free throw shooter immediately. Outside Boyd. Skyler Diggins Smith with a defensive effort. And she commits the intentional foul. But you have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. No other option, though. They did a good job getting it in her hands and making sure she was the one who'd go to the line. Good on the first. 
And that increases their lead to six. She's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop for her. Here's Nurse. The three-pointer off the mark. Probably a little closer than they would have liked, but it's a win nonetheless. And I think the fans gave them an emotional boost. They really needed down the stretch. This crowd was with them all the way. So that's going to do it for this one, folks.